Hey everyone, I'm back with the sales update video. This is for March, uh, obviously past due, but I wanted to get it up. There are some cool sales in here I wanted to show you guys. Um, just with the new baby and everything, we're super busy and I uh, just haven't had the time. I've had all the screenshots done for a while, but I haven't had time to um, do the actual recording. So I'm going to try to do this one in April here today. And then that way you guys can um, get those and get some information. I know, again, it is late, but I still think there's some good info here. Uh, for stuff to look out for. So uh, for March was a pretty good month, 5,073.29. Obviously up from the past month. I was happy with it. Um, and if you look at the bottom real quick, you can get a glimpse. There was a $280 sale, a 125, and a 112, a hundred right there. So that's pretty good. And all those were actually pretty good investments for me. I didn't pay too much for them either. So we'll go ahead and jump right into what sold. Starting off with, uh, that's my dog in the background, so bear with me. Uh, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance for PS2, eight bucks. Pay like a dollar for that. Uh, Junior Seau jersey got thirty-two bucks for this, and this one I had paid four or five bucks for at my Goodwill by my work. Uh, most of their jerseys are four or five bucks, sometimes six every once in a while, but um, I don't pick up. There's a lot of Charger stuff because it's down in es uh, Escondido, which is near San Diego. Um, and a lot of, since the Chargers moved to LA, you're finding a lot of Chargers jerseys. The problem is, is that most of them are not worth anything. But, uh, Junior Sale, obviously he passed away, a uh, very sad story, but his jersey does sell really well. A lot of people still are big fans of him, so it's worth picking up. Uh, this is an old, uh, listing I had. My wife had got a couple of these cables from her work. They're going to throw them away. And I've sold a few of them over time for like six ninety nine a piece, and they ship for first class. So I may have made two bucks on that. I don't know. Uh, Windows XP Home Edition. Um, I forgot what I paid for this. Five bucks, I think. And ended up selling it for seventeen. wasn't a great investment, but it did end up selling. So that was pretty cool. Old software stuff does do well. Um, you just gotta have the the right stuff, and obviously. You need to have the CD keys, sorry, um, to be able to make money. I had to pause that real quick. My dog was bugging my cat, so apologize. And if you hear some noise between them, they kind of like to play. Well, the dog likes to play with the cat, but the cat doesn't like to play with the dog. Uh, Teddy Ruxpin, this is a book. It goes to the newer version. I picked this up for like 20 cents at a salvage thrift store I have with some other books. And I ended up selling it for 13 bucks. Uh, there were no other listings exactly like this one, but I figured someone might have Teddy Ruxpin, the newer one. They may have the cassette, and they may want this uh, book. So I got 13 for that. So that's pretty cool. Baseball Stars, a game that you wouldn't think would be worth really anything on Nintendo because it is a uh, sports game, but it sells for 12 bucks. Um, I've sold it a couple times now, so I forgot what I paid. Maybe a buck for it or something, and I sold it for 12 uh, this is a really cool an Eagles um, shirt. Picked this also at the Goodwill near my work. I think it was three dollars for this shirt. It's a Salem Sportswear, which is an older '90s brand. I uh, got got uh, what did I get? I got oh, got full price, thirty bucks. So um, it's from '93, and this was right after um, they won the Super Bowl. You know, shortly after that, so I knew there'd be a big uh, fan base and listed it and got thirty bucks. So really cool, happy with that. Old iPod I picked up for a buck or two. It did not work. Sold it for 15 This was a hard card I picked up um, for, I think, a couple bucks. Two bucks, maybe. Sold it for 40 Didn't know if it worked. Just listed it as is. And um, the guy got it and said it did work and was happy with that. Poor girl, I guess. So that was cool. This is a really cool bolo. Look out for Action Replay. They have the DS one and the DSi one. They have ones for PS2 and stuff that are discs, but if you find the DS or DSi one, I got 33 for the DS. The DSi one goes for like 40. So look out for these if you're ever looking at Game Boy stuff. If you see this, definitely worth buying. The other one will just say DSi instead of DS. So Action Replay is definitely a little bolo to look out for for video games. I uh, didn't really crop this well enough, as you can see here, but still sold. Uh, on this one, though, I ended up getting... Do, 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 do. I think I got 17 on this one, my best offer. Um, it wasn't really um, 
the best sale, but it did end up selling, and I was happy with that. So that was cool. Pay two bucks. Uh, this was a really cool polo sport. Uh, um, zip, uh, tigers, kind of. I don't know what really, really, really what it would be called pullover, I guess. I sold this on a best offer for seventy. I paid like six or seven bucks. Took a while. I had it up in the hundreds. There weren't. There were some other ones listed for like one fifty, but they weren't selling. So I lowered it down to eighty five, and someone offered me seventy and said they've been looking for one. And who knows what the, if the story is true or not? But for seventy bucks, it was worth it. Paid six or seven, so that was awesome. Um, this is a Harley Davidson. This one sold a while back for fourteen bucks. I had it. At, usually my Harley shirts, if they're the kind of plain Jane ones, I'll list them at twenty or best offer, uh, hoping to get thirteen, fourteen, fifteen bucks for them because I've only paid a dollar or two. Um, this one uh, ended up selling originally for fourteen bucks. The guy never paid. Relisted it, and about a month later, sold for a full price of twenty. So that was cool. Pair of a uh, '90s guest jeans. Paid four bucks for these at um, our thrift store where I work, and got thirty bucks full price. Shipping a padded flat rate. This was an awesome sale. Sailor Moon dolls. Uh, I picked these up for ten dollars each at a garage sale with some Nintendo stuff as well. Um, they were new in the box, but the boxes had damage. I had them listed at two eighty because people were trying to sell each one individually for about fifty bucks or so. Um, I knew it was high, I had best offer on it. I figured I'd take an offer somewhere like 150 to 200 and I could still make money. Some lady in California bought them for a full price for 280 Paid right away, and I was like, okay, hopefully this will go well. Won't be a scam or anything. Sorry for yawning. Um, but sure enough, she bought it, shipped them out, shipped them real well. She got them so they were packaged perfectly. She loves them, part of our collection. So that was a huge score right there. So 280 bucks. Levi jeans paid a dollar for these. These are um, Carpenter. Uh, Levi Carpenter ones do well. These ones were used and there was staining on the bottom here by the legs. I was surprised that they sold for $22. I had a best offer on there and was thinking I might get more like, um, I don't know, maybe like an offer of like 16 or 17 and then I would still make some money on them. I got the full price 22 so that was cool. A uh, broken Apple iPad. Paid two bucks for this from my um, garage sale friend. He always has junk. He sold me the other iPod too that I sold. He always has damaged or broken iPods. Sometimes they work, but usually it's all damaged stuff or MP3 players. So uh, I got two bucks for that, or paid two bucks, and I sold that one on a best offer of twenty-five. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Don't think it ever would have would, would worked. Don't think the unit was any good. Okay, and then this one is a Smith Corona typewriter here. Uh, thought at a garage sale. I first just walked by because um, I was like, I don't want to deal with that. So I'm like, well, let me look it up in the car. Excuse me, and I'm yawning. It's really early in the morning. Um, I didn't sleep much last night either uh, with the baby. But uh, this typewriter, I ended up, it said $10 on it. So then I looked it up, and I was like, well, looks like I probably can get 100 for it or maybe 80 So I was like, I'll pick it up. Picked it up and then eventually sold for 125 on the best offer, which is really great. I did cost like probably 30 something to ship it, so I still probably made 60 or 70 bucks on it, which was really cool. Um, not really a pain to ship. I just put bubble wrap inside the typewriter uh, in the box, so that way it kept everything solid, and then I wrapped the box as well. So pretty cool. Uh, Citizens of Humanity, Sid Jeans. Um, this brand's not as good for women as it used to be, but not anymore. For men's though, if you can find it, which is kind of hard for me to find, uh, some of them do okay. This one I picked, it took a best offer of 35 I paid like 4 bucks. Um, that's pretty good. So 35 I shipped it for 7 I probably made, I don't know, 16 17 bucks. That's pretty cool. This sale was really cool. Uh, it was on, oops, sorry. It was on offer up. Uh, it was a Tempur-Pedic uh, Ergo remote control for a bed. This one was five bucks. Got to know if it worked. I'm not sure how we had it. I picked it up for five on my lunch break. I um, got it. I said it won't power on, but I could get it to power on, uh, and then it would power right off. So I'm not sure. Like the light at the top would power on, and the buttons would flash for a second when they turned off. So I did sell it for parts, and it ended up selling for full price, fifty bucks in like an hour or two. 
So that was awesome. Huge profit there. And uh, look out for bed remote controls if you can. They do well. North Face had this in my um, death pile for a long time, like for probably years. It's something that moved with me, and I put it in a box, and I just never got back to that box yet. It was in my uh, garage. Finally got through there and processed some of the clothing and got 25 bucks for that. Uh, Sony Handycam docking station. You can charge. Oops. Man, I gotta stop doing that. You can charge the Handycam on this when it plugs in. Oops. Man, I'm really messing up here. Okay. Uh, this came with a Handycam I bought for like 8 or 10 bucks. I still have the Handycam because it works well. We've kind of used it for a couple things. But it already comes with a charger, so I don't need the docking station. So I sold that for 30 Grand Theft Auto, Liberty Stories, paid a dollar or so, got nine bucks for that. Uh, Pele, Pele, Mark Buchanan, uh, Polo, were kind of similar to that Polo Sport one. Uh, obviously not nearly the quality though. Uh, I took a best offer of 25 I paid four bucks. It shipped for in a pad of flat rate. Sounds pretty good. Uh, Sony Walkman, this one worked, but the, uh, Battery cover would not stay closed, like one of the little clips was bad. Got 15 bucks for that. Rock Revival jeans. Uh, these ones, I think I got a best off for $42. I had paid $10 for $10 each for three pairs, so 30 in total. Sold that one for $42. Uh, vintage Broncos, uh, like stadium chairs, these were three dollars each. Actually, I think I got a, I paid five. I think I paid offered a five for both of them. And I sold them for fifty bucks to Arizona, so that was pretty good. It didn't cost too much to ship since I'm in California. Two Patagonia organic cotton. Usually, you can get about eighteen to twenty something for just one if you have a decent quality. These are size small, which hurts, and one of them had a stain on it. I bought them both for four dollars each, so not a great buy, but I got my money back and maybe I made a dollar or two, but I was happy to get rid of them. Uh, HP 28S calculator. Um, this one sold for full price of $70. I paid 20 bucks for this. It also came with the printer, which I already sold as well for like 12 or 15. Uh, so that was a really good deal for 70. Did work. I had to put a battery in it, so I had to order that, which was a buck or two. Crayola widescreen. This is a really cool little thing you can like draw on it. It has a backlight behind it. I paid two dollars for this at the thrift store. Sold it for 30. It costs like 12 to ship it. So I probably made maybe 10 bucks which is pretty cool. Uh, four drills. Uh, these were ones I bought uh, when I bought drill chargers and batteries. The drills uh, all had issues. Lots of damage or didn't work. Um, if you lot them together you can make money. at 45 bucks. Shipped them in a uh, large board game box that's where i shipped them in. and 45 bucks so i probably made 15 of these i didn't really have any investment when i bought the things i bought them for the charger to make money on that and then I, these are just extra and i think one i just got thrown in for free and a lot of stuff that i bought a kiss shirt another band shirt this one sold for 20 bucks teddy ruxpin this one from um, 85 it does not work Oh, I mean, it works, but the eyes won't move. The sound works. Um, got 40 bucks for that, so that was pretty cool. I paid, I think, four or five bucks for him at the thrift store. Another Rock Revivals. These ones sold for 45 Best offer. These are part of that $10 each lot, so that was cool. Rawlings Glove. This one sold for full price, 22 I think I paid 5 They shipped for like 7 in the padded flat rate, so pretty good looking picture, though, I think. Falcons hat got 14 bucks. I paid like four for it. This was not a great buy. I bought this when they were going to the Super Bowl. Thought I might sell it before that. It never sold, and then it ended up just sitting for a long time. So I took a best offer of 14. I still probably made five bucks on it, four bucks, but it uh, wasn't really the greatest buy. Sims Deluxe sold these for $35. I think I had $10 invested in all of them, so not too bad. Uh, Ichiro Suzuki um, Mariners jersey. Got this for four bucks, but that Goodwill where I bought the Junior Seau jersey. This one sold for thirty-five on the best offer, so that was super cool. Patagonia organic cotton. This one I listed. I thought, oh, I'll take a best offer because I, I usually on my clothes I put best offer um, on them at thirty. I thought I might take twenty-three to twenty-five or so. That's what it, I thought it would probably sell for. Sold for full price, thirty bucks within a couple of days, so that was awesome. 
and there were no issues with it. It was a really good shake. So uh, this is a Bali High, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, Tiki Mug. I bought two of these for 50 cents each or something like that, a dollar each. Um, and I sold this one for 30. I have another one I haven't listed yet, even though I should have. Um, and it's sold for 30 and it shipped for like 12 because it was by the time I boxed it up and everything. So I did okay on it. I didn't make a ton of money, but um, and it was kind of a pain to ship these kind of fragile things. But it was it was worth it. I'm going to make probably 25 bucks between the two items when it's all said and done. Uh, Canon, um, this is a high school yearbook. Uh, I got a bunch of yearbooks. I don't know when I paid five or either paid two fifty or five for this. Sold it for twenty. ACG button front shirt. Uh, took a best offer of seventeen. Paid four bucks for this. It's really cool. The ACG stuff can do pretty well. Um, sold it for seventeen though, and it paid four bucks. This is a slammer for like um, pogs. You could put, it's like a case to hold them. And I ended up paying a dollar for this, I think, at a garage sale or a thrift store. Two dollars, maybe. Sold it for 18 and it did ship first class. A Bosch Nike shirt. I think I paid five bucks for this. Thought I'd do a little bit better. It's one of the ones for the employees who sells Bosch gear. Um, this one, though, I got 18 bucks for it, so I still did okay. Uh, copy it. I have another one of these. My father-in-law gave them to me. They um, didn't need them anymore. They had them. I did have the power cord for it. Sold it for 60 bucks. It does ship for like 20 by the time you ship it. Maybe a little more depending on where it's going. But it was free, so easy to sell it for 60 I still probably made 15 20 bucks. 20 um, ESPN hoodie. Thought this would do a lot better. Paid 5 bucks for this. And I ended up selling it for 22 Shipped for 7 So that's 12 Leaves you with 10 Fees is probably like... Sorry, my alarm went off. Fees are probably like... You know, four bucks. So I probably made like six on it, so not that great, but that's okay. Got rid of it. Levi's Carpenter jeans again. These ones have no damage. I bought them in the same lot that I bought the other painter jeans. This one for a dollar. Sold them for 40, so that was awesome. Look out for the Levi Carpenter jeans. They do really well. I need to remind myself to keep looking out because I've missed, I've missed a couple of looking for them lately, so... Haven't been looking at, at jeans as much. Uh, Fisher Price, Imagine X, Bigfoot. I already sold the power cord, I think, in the last video for 45 This was the rest of the pieces, the battery, the battery cover, and the remote. I tossed the other guy, put him in the donate pile, sold these for 30 bucks. so that was awesome. Individually, you can sell them if you only have one piece. I just threw them together because I saw someone else got 30 bucks for the same lot. I figured that was worth it to me. Commodore 64 book for 15 bucks. I paid five bucks for a stack of Commodore stuff. I probably made close to a hundred dollars on it right now. It's taking a little while, but um, people keep buying the books, and I still have one stack left. Uh, Robert Graham shirt, 25 bucks. These used to go for so much more. Um, I thought it was a good looking shirt. Uh, picture is not that great. That's part of the problem. But ended up selling it for 25. I had paid four or five bucks. Cutco's, five Cutco's here. Um, these came at a garage sale. I, I paid 20 bucks or 25 bucks for everything, I think. Um, and then these sold right away for a best offer of 65. They had a lot of damage. You can see this one's got discoloring. It's got damage here. There's damage on the edge of this one. The little ones were okay. One of them had a tip that was kind of bent a little bit. So I took a best offer of 65. Super happy with that. Uh, like I said, I paid 25, I think, or 20. For everything I bought, which was a ton of stuff. Uh, Under Armour jacket paid ten bucks for this, sold it for thirty-five. Um, wasn't a huge profit. It did end up shipping for like eight bucks, I think. And um, so you figure eighteen, seventeen fees. I probably made like ten or twelve on it, so that's okay. It was in really good shape, like no damage at all. Uh, this came from that same $20, $25 lot where I bought the Cutco. Uh, Sennheiser mic. Didn't know if it worked. I think it was missing the back piece here. Got a best offer of $40. And that sold within like a day or two. Um, this was cool. Paid $10 for these DVDs. Um, I bought this and another set of stuff for $10 from a lady on OfferUp. Always look on OfferUp if you're buying something from them. Look for... Um, if they have anything else you might want, or you could try to bundle. I recommend doing that on Facebook. 
so many times I've bought call to buy something and either they have something there that I can offer them or they I ask them sometimes I'll ask oh do you have any video games for sale or do you have anything else that might I'm looking for and just the other day I bought some video games from somebody by doing this but this one um, I was buying some um, like military magazine type things booklets journals and I bought a stack of those for 10 and then I looked and saw these and looked them up and they sell pretty well so I bought these so I sold them for 50 bucks 10 bucks into 50 awesome for some DVD sets Polaroid again $28 sells to the retrospect person so really good there another Polaroid $28 if I have a bunch of trailers at the same time so I can ship them all in the same box to the person so that makes it easy Another Polaroid for 30 this one did not go to retrospect. Someone else bought this one for 30 so that was cool. Uh, anybody kill it? ABK uh, paid a couple bucks for this, sold it for $27. Pretty good for a t-shirt. It did sell for full price. I'm sorry, I'm yawning again. I'm so tired. Hitachi um, battery chargers came out of my uh, salvage thrift store, paid a dollar or less for it, sold that for 30 It goes in a padded flat rate. A uh, bit of for electronic blanket control. Uh, this one sold for 19. One of these ones, I don't know if it was in the last video, this one I sold it and it works. It worked for like a week and they said it didn't work all of a sudden, so they wanted a refund. I just gave them the money back. I didn't ask them to ship it. I had paid a dollar, I think, for it, so it wasn't worth it. It's just first class, too, so that was okay, but all the other ones that I've sold have all worked. Ariat men's, these are flame resistant jeans, really good. They have the FR inside on the inner band. Sold these on the best offer for 50. I paid like four or five bucks. It was a great deal and a great sale. P90X sold for 37. I paid 10 for that. Little Wayne uh, music tour. On this one, I took a best offer of 16. It had some staining here. Um, this one I paid 50 cents for. I usually pick up these band shirts, especially if they're like not the brand new ones. Um, and I usually have some for 20 or best offer, unless they're worth obviously significantly more. But usually I'll take a best offer anywhere from 13 to up. So that's pretty good. Not that stain, anyways. So VeggieTales paid $10 for this stack. They're basically brand new, no damage at all. Sold them for 35 Dolphins. Old school corduroy style um, hat. This one sold for a full price at 18 bucks. I had paid a dollar or two for that. Uh, Mini Wii here. This one sold like a little red one. This one doesn't have the ability to go online, I think it is. So I paid five bucks for this. It did, I powered up, kind of working, sold it for 39. Shipped it in a regional A box. This was cool. This came out of that Sennheiser and Cutco lot. So all that for 20. I'm already at a 65 and uh, what was it? A 40, so 105. This is a Chevy Camaro. Um, well, it fits a Chevy Camaro 80s uh, uh, OEM radio. It's got a little damage here. If you look on the tip, you can see it's broken off. Um, but I listed it and I got it. Guy paid full price, 100 bucks. Got it. Told me it worked. He fixed the chip, so I'm not sure if he had a replacement plate or what. But he said it worked, and it was he was super happy with it. So that was again 100 bucks. Now I'm at 205 dollars out of that 20 to 20. I think it was 25 dollar lot. Uh, game codes for PS2, 15 dollars. Pretty good. Jinko baggy um, jeans. These ones were size 38, so that helped. And um, sold them for 35. I paid four bucks for them at the thrift store. Old Foot Joy here. This one sold for full price at 13. I paid like four or five, so not a great be Shouldn't have bought it because it had uh, a logo on it. These ones just don't, unless it's Titleist or you know maybe something pop like Verizon or you could sell, but like if it's a bank or something like that, it's just not going to sell. So. Troxel bike seat. This one I paid five bucks for. Sold it for thirty. Finally, had some damage, but I figured someone would be restoring a bike and might want it. Battlefront for seven. It's pretty cool. That's from a lot I had a long time ago. I've already made all my money off it, so I'll take a seven dollar sale. A bunch of hunting books. These ones sold for twenty bucks on the best offer. It was donated to me. Someone gave it to me to sell. 
Um, they didn't even want any money for it, but I sold it for 20 and it cost like seven to ship it. I ended up giving them like eight or 10 bucks for the sale so they could have the money. So I kind of did it to help somebody out. So just threw a bunch of books together of the same type of stuff. Uh, Duke Nukem for 10. Paid a dollar for that. Mario Tennis finally sold. I forgot what I paid. I think it was a lot of, a, part of a lot of 64 games and I got 20 bucks for that. Better Homes Cookbook. These binder ones do okay. Got 15 bucks. Sold this for 18. I paid a dollar or two for it. So that was pretty cool. It's one of those magnetic um, alphabets. Okay, and then here's a Memorex Cool Disc. Sold that for 11. Paid a dollar or two, I believe. Walkman. This one got returned. I sold it for 20. And the uh, person said it did work. And they said when it got there, it powered up and then it didn't work. So they returned it. So I'm not sure what happened. It was working for me. Now I just got it in my parts Walkman lot. So once I get a bunch of little Walkman cassettes that don't work, I just usually I pay a dollar or two for them and I'll just put them in a lot of like five and then I'll try to sell them and maybe make, you know, seven dollars each or something like that. Uh, so that's what the goal is. Uh, Sony Cybershot. This one sold full price. I paid, um, I think, ten or fifteen dollars for this. I was going to use it for myself, but I ended up not using it. Um, and I sold this one um, really quick for 48 bucks. A men's Under Armour, not a great picture. Really cool looking shirt though. Sold it. It did have a logo on it though, um, and it sold for fifteen dollars. I paid I think five, so again, not great. A Nat Nash shirt. This one was brand new. I paid fifteen bucks for it at Salvation Army or Savers. That was after my discount, I think. I think it was 20 bucks, and then I paid, so plus tax, I guess, too. But it sold for full price for 40 uh, It was brand new, super easy to list. It was a size small, so that wasn't as great, but happy with that. Awesome thing to look out for, Bolo Light Scribe. This is um, HP DVD-R Light Scribes. I got all these, and I sold them for 90 bucks. Yep, sold full price. Nope, sorry, 75 best offer. Uh, it was a 50-pack. Um, but it was open. There was 45 in there. So I took a best offer of 75. So that was cool. Cuisinart Blade, $10. I usually get about 10 for these. Um, I just sell them by themselves. And 10 bucks to ship first class. They don't make a ton. I have a bunch of blades, so it takes a while. But they're just kind of free money when they come in. Sony Programmable uh, Commander Remote Control. This one is the older one. does pretty well. I sold it for 40 and I paid a dollar. So that was cool. Excuse me. Uh, you plug the battery in, and then if you um, use your camera uh, and point the remote at the camera where the little um, radar signal would come out of, if you point it, you'll see it blink. That's usually how I test them. So there's videos out there on YouTube if you need to know. Uh, I paid five dollars for this Harley helmet. Uh, I had some scratches, but it did sell for forty bucks on the best offer. Sounds pretty cool. Five bucks into forty. Game Boy sold that for 42. Sold this once for like 48 or something, 49. Guy said, um, I really don't like this guy. He's a video game buyer. And he said, oh, the screen's too foggy. And then I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, it's perfect. So he wanted to return it. And he, anyway, the problem is, is like, I don't even think he ever reads the listing. Like, he just, something pops up. He probably has a search saved because he buys them all instantly. And I've had two or three that he returned through the past like three years and it's usually for something that was already in the listing it's like oh it has scratches oh it has too many scratches for me i need to return it and it's like well then don't buy it did you ever look at the pictures no you probably just had a listing saved and then or a search saved saw the price and just clicked it without really doing any research um so i think i'm gonna block him actually because i'm just tired of the dealing with it but that's all for 42 bucks um, to somebody else this time. And I put in there, there was slight fogginess on screen, whatever that means. And the person said it worked fine and it was great. So not sure what the deal was. Uh, House of Pain, uh, cool shirt here. Paid a couple bucks for this. Uh, it's a House of Pain um, 2011 tour shirt. Sold that for $30 on the best offer. Perry Ellis je uh, jeans, uh, dress pants. Four bucks for these, and I sold them for 21 on the best offer. They were brand new. That's why I bought them. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. Uh, Book of Life books. These ones sold full price, 15. I paid three bucks. It was a horrible. I shouldn't have lowered the price this much. I at least left it at 20. I probably made 
three bucks on these. Happy to get rid of them. A whole set of these can do well. I didn't have the whole set though. That's the problem. Uh, Adriano Goldschmied, um, the stilt jeans. I paid four bucks for these. These are women's. I don't really buy too much women's stuff anymore, but sold those uh, for a full price of twenty-three dollars. Dream Theater, horrible picture. Paid a dollar. Paid two dollars for this band shirt and sold it for eighteen. So that's cool. Logitech Trackman uh, paid five bucks for this from the same guy I bought the Sony Remote Commander for from. I don't know why I wanted five bucks, but he did, and I sold it on a full price twenty five global shipping program. Guidepost books, I paid. I think I paid uh, probably twenty bucks for these at Savers um, after feet taxes and everything. I only sold them for forty. I probably made ten dollars on them, maybe a little less. It was not as great as I was hoping. Uh, maybe I only paid like 17 or 18, but I thought I would get more, and I just did not. So I still made money, didn't lose, and they were really easy selling. They sold really quick, but wasn't as good as I thought. Savers is really hard to buy books from because of their pricing. Um, here is a Magnavox DVD combo. I paid 16 bucks for this at Salvation Army. Came with the remote. It did work. Tested it, let it play through a DVD and through a VHS, went back and forth, all the buttons, and it sold for $112. I think it shipped for like $22, something like that, because it was going to East Coast, but I still made really good money on it. Uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 cover. Uh, this my wife got from her work. It was something they were going to throw away, and uh, we took it, listed it. It sold really quickly for $22.49, so that was free. Shipped first class, awesome, brand new. GameStop um, wireless dongle. So the dongle um, ended up having a lot of video game stuff. I just figured I'd list it. Listed it for eight bucks, um, actually nine bucks, I think. And someone offered me eight. Then he got it and said it didn't work. And then um, ten minutes later, I said, "Oh, it works fine." So I'm not sure what the deal was, but happy. To, excuse me, get rid of that. Uh, glow worm. This is from '82. Paid a dollar for this. Uh, this thing did work. It was dirty. I got it cleaned up. You can still see stains though on the cloth. I cleaned up the face. I did try to clean up this as best I could. Um, I took out the um, battery thing and because it's just a rubber head and then the cloth. So I washed it. It looked better. Um, and then I sold it on a best offer for thirty bucks. So that was pretty cool. Peter Millar, uh, Stripe Polo, paid I think four bucks for this, sold it for twenty. So that was nope, sold it for sixteen on the best offer, which is about as low as I usually want to go for shirts that I'm paying four bucks. I usually want to only go for, to like down to sixteen. Wavebird, look out for this. You want this piece? This piece doesn't sell as well, but this piece with it sells well, or just this piece sell. It goes to a GameCube. Got forty two twenty nine for that. That was in my um, dead pile too, death pile. So. I don't know what I paid. Gibson, this was an awesome like Hawaiian style, a big old guitar on there, it was super cool. Paid four or five bucks, actually maybe, actually I think I paid six or seven bucks for this, and then I sold it on a best offer for thirty three twenty nine. No, a sale thirty three twenty nine. Uh, Nylon Tundra camera bag, paid five bucks for a camera. I've already sold probably close to sixty bucks, fifty bucks worth of stuff, and then I sold the camera bag for forty as well. And then I sold this um, iPod Classic for twenty-seven. This one came out for two bucks out of my friend's, you know, garage sale. So that sold for twenty-seven, which was awesome. This is a uh, Hampton Bay. I paid five bucks for this. It did ship in a first class, a uh, little remote. So that was cool. Grand Theft Auto. Uh, Vice City soundtrack paid ten bucks for this on offer up. Super uh, cool find, kind of hard to find. Sold it for seventy five. Cuisinart lid for eighteen. Uh, this one cast iron Griswold. One of these I sold. I sold two recently. One sold. Um, this one sold for full price thirty six, which was cool. Uh, the other one uh, ended up selling for like twenty something, and I got a return. And the guy, oh, maybe this is the one that actually got returned. 
and then the guy said, oh, it, I didn't know it had any wear. And it says, item is used with lots of wear from aging and use. And then in the in the description, it says even more details about it. So I was surprised he didn't know that it was very worn. Plus, in the pictures, you can tell. So that was annoying. It's okay, though. Uh, Shakespeare, this is a line counter. It counts how much uh, line you have out. Ten, uh, I paid a dollar, sold it for ten. Three Adidas shirts, sold these for $24.29 in the best offer. They weren't that good because they had two of them had um, logos on them. So that kind of really hurts the price. I had paid actually four bucks a piece. I thought oh, I could lot them together and do okay. So that's twelve. I'm already at twenty-four. They shipped for seven. So not good. Not a good sale. Didn't lose money, but didn't make money. Uh, Urban Equipment, this is a 4XL, brand new. Only bought it because it was brand new 4XL and it kind of looked in your, like in your face, popped at you. But it still it sold, paid six bucks and it still only sold for sixteen nineteen after about a year it fell. So happy to get rid of it. Um, so that's good. Uh, Magic Chef Bread Maker Pan, sold that for 18 bucks. Ships first class if you wrap it in some bubble wrap and a poly miller, it works pretty well. Uh, this was a Sony uh, mini disc recorder. I paid ten bucks for this. No, I paid twenty bucks for this, um, and I sold it for seventy six forty nine. So that was cool. These mini disc recorders are pretty good. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger polo sold that for sixteen nineteen. Paid four bucks. Uh, turned out to be a pretty good looking shirt, I thought. And um, it was a newer one. It wasn't an older Tommy, but that's why I picked it up, and it still got sixteen nineteen. Rugrats in Paris finally sold for nine bucks. Uh, Rejuvenator, professional massages thing, really moves when you turn it on. Uh, paid five bucks, sold it for fifty three ninety nine uh, on sale. Cross and Cockade um, journals, there were seven of them. This came, this is the other ten dollar thing I bought when I bought those um, that DVD set. I sold these on a best offer for thirty five, and I still have some more stuff from that lot as well. So that was pretty good. Magic Castle books, so at least for 35 I think I probably spent 20 on these, maybe, uh, from Savers. Again, not the best place to buy books. Maybe I spent 18 I only got 36 bucks for them. So, uh, uh, not good to buy uh, from Savers books. you got to get a really good deal, and they have to be worth a lot of money for it to be worth it. Uh, Brown's hoodie, on this one sold it for 20 bucks. I got it for free. So that was pretty good. Pretty plain Jane. A uh, little cartoon car. Paid five bucks. Sold it for 30 on a best offer. It did work. Uh, kind of spins around and kind of makes noise and flashes. I thought it was pretty cool, but I was happy with the $30 sale. Aeropostale cargo jeans. $16. I forgot what I paid for these. Maybe a buck or two. So happy about that. Cummins diesel um, hat. Sold that for eleven sixty nine. It was really beat up. Heavy wear. Uh, I paid fifty cents for. I paid five dollars for a lot of hats. It probably evened out to about fifty cents, um, and I got eleven sixty nine. Ogre battle, awesome game. I paid ten bucks for this, just for this game, and I think I bought one other game for five bucks from a guy on offer up. This was just the disc, and it sold for thirty three ninety nine. Uh, Ralph Lauren polo velour uh, shirt. The guy kept offering me like seventeen eighteen. Uh, and then he, I think I had counter with 20, and then he went down to like 13 on his counter offer. So I just declined it. I was like, dude, you're being a, just being a pain in my butt. Then he bought it for full price, and I'm like, great, here it goes. He's going to want to return. But no, he didn't. He, I think he even gave me good feedback. So that was kind of weird because I would have taken 20 bucks for it. So I had paid 2 bucks or 3 bucks. Um, 65 pack of Sony floppy disk. It was opened, so it's supposed to be 100. There's only 65 in there. I sold those on a best offer for 31. Um, I had paid five or ten for it. Thought I'd do better, and um, did not. Shipped them locally though to California, so it didn't cost too much to ship. I think like eight bucks. So I may have made like seven, but it wasn't the greatest deal. But if you do find sealed uh, floppy disk and you can get them for cheap, it's worth it. Nightmare Creatures disc. This was out of a video game lot I bought. Uh, probably have a dollar fifty cents in there. Sold that for eight. 
Uh, Rock Revival, not a great listing, but Gia Flair Women's Jeans, pay two fifty for these, sold them for full price of nineteen seventy nine. Another not a great listing, but it's a Travis Matthew. I paid like six bucks for this a long time ago, but it had a logo on it, so that was not did not help. Sold that for fifteen uh, twenty nine. Some more light scribe, picked these up at a garage sale for five, sold them for thirty four nineteen. It's a twenty five pack, I believe, but I only had twenty in there. So even ones that are open, you can sell for light scrub. Um, Angels, Nolan Ryan jersey. I uh, paid 15 for this at Goodwill. It is a Mitchell and Ness. Looked pretty good. Looked clean. Looked like it would be legit. No real damage. The stitching was good. Sold out on the best offer for 50 bucks, uh, which is a really great profit. Uh, Dragon Age paid a dollar for this. Sold it for 11 some young children's encyclopedia books. I've had a lot of people, when I've shown some encyclopedias before, the children's ones, oh, encyclopedias never sell, you're wasting your time. The first one I sold for like 70 bucks or 80 bucks. Um, and then this one was, it's newer, but um, I picked these up for 10 for the whole set, got 45 for them. You are right, though, that even like adult encyclopedias, the standard ones are not that great, but some of the children's ones do do well. So it's worth picking up if you can find them for cheap. You don't mind shipping, and they're going to be heavy, and you don't mind sitting on them for a little while. But I paid 10 got 45 so I'm happy with that. A Dell Power Adapter, 1619 sold. These ones, what I do is I put them in a padded flat rate. If they're too heavy to go first class. That's the best shipping option. So you don't make a ton. That's why I don't like to pay more than a dollar for them if I'm buying them. Awesome Wolverines jersey here, or not jersey, shirt from 89. that I listed this when they were in the final four. Um, and it sold for thirty-one forty-nine. Bought this for three or four bucks at a thrift store. And I also bought another one, an eighty-nine Bad Boys Detroit Pistons shirt. So the, obviously it probably came from the same person. That one just sold for forty bucks. So that was cool, uh, or thirty-eight bucks, something like that. Uh, Devil May Cry. I paid a dollar or so for this. Sold that for seven. Not a great buy, but um, if I find it, I might pick it up again. But hopefully I'll. We'll have to pay a dollar for it because it's not good to pay a dollar to seven. Usually that's kind of like the limit where you want to be. I uh, paid six bucks for this uh, food processor piece. It's a Ninja 64 ounce bowl lid. It also has blades. They're not in the first picture. I messed up when I listed it. Um, but I got 50 bucks for that on, the best, on a full price sale. So that was cool. Uh, this was a return. I sold this. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is sold for missing power cord, sold for parts and repair. One remote is broken. Parts repair only in the listing. And then the description, it also says, does not work. One remote has is broken. It has like a, you can see where the screen's damaged and doesn't appear to work. Used for parts. Sold it for full price, $58. A uh, person got it, said it doesn't work. One of the remotes is broken. Everything else works, but one remote's broken. I'm like, are you an idiot? Like, what part of the listing didn't you read? So they did return. eBay kind of already approved it automatically. They sent it back. I messaged them to say, hey, you realize it was already broken. They never responded. Um, I refunded them less the shipping anyways, but um, that was a real pain in my butt. Um, so lost a little money on that. Then I went and resold it, I think, recently for 40 or 45 Made all my money back, maybe a few bucks, but... Um, it was a real pain that someone didn't read, and you kind of get stuck with that. The Office game sold that for sixty bucks, so that was cool. Paid ten for it. It was sealed. Memorex. These came with those that mini disc that I paid twenty bucks for, so I got twenty one fifty nine for those. So that pushed that sale up to about a hundred. So that was cool. A Samsung recovery disc. This was from my friend that I buy at a garage sale. So he just has a bunch of junk and I just usually make a huge pile and I throw stuff in it that might sell. This was in there and I got nine bucks for it so that was cool. Uh, Panasonic uh, battery charger did work sold that for sixteen nineteen. dollars Sorry about the birds if you can hear them outside. Uh, My Bible Friends these were really good books. These ones I did buy from Savers I probably spent five bucks on them basically. Got $48 so that was awesome. Uh, WWE belt got $18. These range anywhere from about this price up to about $30 you can get for them. Depends on which one you have, what year it's from. Uh, and they ship first class, so that was pretty cool. Some Perry Ellis glasses for $16.19. Paid a couple bucks. Doc Martin boots. 
Um, these ones, I took a best off for 35 They had no laces. I paid 5 for them. They had a lot of wear on them, but they still would function. But without the laces, I just took a best off for 35 uh, The lady was super happy with them. Uh, Nautica jeans. These ones sold best off for 35 I paid 4 or 5 bucks for them. They're brand new. Um, easy listing, and I got 35 bucks. Scotty Cameron. Um... Sure, this is brand new as well, but it had staining to the front. I paid three bucks at Savers. This is a really nice. If this was not damaged, probably a hundred bucks sale. I took out a best offer of forty-one. It looks like the guy offered me, and I took it. Uh, I only paid three bucks, so that was cool. Jurassic Park, really good three sixty game to look out for. I sold that for twenty-five. I paid it three bucks for it, two bucks. Um, Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren glass place. Glasses case, I paid 50 cents or a dollar, sold that for nine. Um, not the best picture, but a John Allen Love money wrap. I sold this once before for 60. Didn't realize there were three broken pegs. I looked at them, like, oh, it looks good. Listed it as I was packing it, saw the broken pegs, canceled the listing, listed this one again, and got 40 for it. I had only paid five bucks for it, so I still did really well, and it shipped in a box for like 15 bucks or something like that. But, um, you know, so I did okay, but yeah, there were broken pegs. I probably could have parted every piece out and sold it, but I just redid the listing and said there were broken pegs. But look out for these Money Love looms. If they're not damaged, they do really well. Uh, Royal Robins shirt, brand new. I paid 4 bucks. Not the best listing, but got 25 bucks for that. Robert Talbot, this one sold. Um, I think this one got returned. The guy said it was a great shirt, but just a little too tight. So I, I think I just sold it again, too. So... I took a best offer, I think, of 18 there it sold. So uh Sunbeam Blade, paid three bucks for a Sunbeam food processor, sold it for fifteen. And it looks like that might be it, even though I thought I had some more. Let me double check. Okay, I did I did have something else here. I had a um I guess I didn't save the picture of it, maybe. One second. Okay, I'm back. I got it fixed. There were saved pictures, so that's good. Uh, here's another Sony remote. This one sold for 18, uh, which is really good. I think I paid a dollar for it, so that was awesome. A Tommy Bahama, 18 bucks. Beautiful Tommy Bahama, and then all the way down to 18 bucks. But I'm happy to get rid of it. I only paid four bucks. Colin Kaepernick jersey. This one sold for thirty, so that was pretty cool. Um, I paid five bucks for this. I had a guy that I buy jerseys from now. We've actually used to buy them on offer up, but now we've exchanged phone numbers, and he just sends me pictures once or twice a week with what he finds, and then he sends me the prices. He's upped his prices though. Unfortunately, he's kind of doubled everything from what I used to pay. So uh, I'm still getting a better deal than what he lists it for on offer up, but sometimes I have to pay up a little bit. So I'm not buying as much as I used to, but I'm still usually getting a couple of jerseys a week, um, or at least sports type memorabilia and stuff. So, bought four Kaepernick or five Kaepernick jerseys for twenty five bucks. This one sold for thirty full price. Uh, Sony Walkmans here. These were all broken. I've had them for a long time. I probably paid two or three bucks a piece. Sold them uh, for thirty four nineteen. And same guy bought this Panasonic um, headphones. I paid five for these. I got 18. I combined the shipping, so I made it a lot better. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Travis Matthew. This polo had nothing on it. I paid four bucks and got $18. Really good looking shirt. Adobe uh, Studio 8. I paid, I think, 10 bucks for this one and another software package. Sold this one for 27 The other one I just sold for 38 so hopefully you get good feedback on that one. Black and Decker food processor chopping blade. Um, again, I love parting these out. Got 18 bucks for that. And that is actually it. So that's the end of it. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. I know it ran a little long, uh, but there's a lot of listings with really or a lot of sales. A lot of um, good stuff too. The Sailor Moon stuff, the uh, Polo Sport. I also had a Warridge jacket somewhere, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess I didn't save the picture. It sold for 50 bucks. So um, I'm not sure what happened to that. I thought I took a picture of it, but I guess I didn't. So I must have, um, I must have just not done it. But I sold a Woolrich jacket um, 
for $50. So that was pretty cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or if you found anything cool. I'm going to try to get the April one up before um, the end of May here if we can do that. And uh, hopefully get the May up then shortly after that. But, you know, I'm usually late. So bear with me. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day.